Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press. Our plugins are some of the most useful and flexible ways to control who can access what on your WooCommerce site. One of the questions we get quite often is about access to the reports area in WooCommerce. We've had people ask us if it's possible to create a user role that can only access this reports area. This might be for their accountant or someone that just needs the data about what's happening on the WooCommerce site and doesn't need to be in products or orders or other key areas of the site. Yes, this is possible. And to make it happen, you can use the Publish Press Capabilities plugin. I'm going to walk you through how you can use that plugin to create a user role for Simply Reports on your WooCommerce site. To get started, go to Capabilities, and we're going to make a copy of the subscriber role. We're going to do that because the subscriber role has a, a very low level and very basic set of permissions, which very closely matches those that we want for our reports manager. So I'm going to make sure that subscriber is selected up here. And then in the copy subscriber role box, I'm going to type in reports manager. And then I'm going to click on copy. You'll notice that this user has almost no boxes checked here. This user role has no permissions whatsoever. What we need to do is scroll down to the WooCommerce capabilities area. And we are looking for a particular permission, which is view WooCommerce reports. I'm going to check that box and click save. We also need to give them one other permission which is not visible on the screen. By default, WooCommerce will block access for most user roles to the WordPress admin area, but we want our reports manager to get access to the admin area to see the reports. The best way to do this is to go to the add capability box and I'm gonna type in view underscore admin underscore dashboard and I'm going to click add to role. And so hopefully if we have the reports manager tab loaded here, we should be able to scroll down and see that they have the view admin dashboard and also the view WooCommerce reports permissions. Click on save changes. Now I'm going to test out this new user role. I'll go to the users area and I have a user called John Smith set up already. I'm going to edit his account and I'm going to make him a reports manager. On this site, I have a plugin which allows me to automatically switch to the user and test his account, but you don't need this. You could just reset his password and log in using this account. I'm going to switch to John's account. And now in the WooCommerce dashboard, you'll see that this reports manager has access to their own profile so they can change their name and password. They also have access to the different reports that are available inside WooCommerce, but they have no products, no orders, no coupons, no access to any other key areas of WooCommerce, nor do they have access to posts or pages or any other area of WordPress itself. So if you are using a WooCommerce store, I highly recommend using Publish Press capabilities if you want to control who can access what on your WooCommerce site. Head over to publishpress.com for a lot more tutorials like this, plus a whole bunch of extra plugins which can control who can access what on your WordPress site. Thanks for watching. We wish you all the best with your WooCommerce store.